Hi guys, we're going to talk about the brightness and contrast in this video. This is a very important topic. A diamond's brilliance is essentially attributed to two components, and that is the brightness and contrast. So when someone says, oh, this is a brilliant diamond, or your diamond has strong brilliance, what they are actually referring to is how bright and well contrasted your diamond is. How to analyze this is by using the ASAT scope and comparing diamonds under fluorescent light. Brightness is where light is being reflected from the diamond towards your eyes. This is represented by the red areas on the ASAT scope. Thus, the stronger the red, the brighter the diamond is. The super ideal cut diamond on the left displays a good amount of red on the ASAT scope, where you can see the brightness on the actual diamond. Diamonds that are cut too shallow or too deep will have light leakages, which is represented by the white areas on the ASAT scope. This results in a less bright diamond as these areas will appear dark no matter which angle you view them from. This is because light leakages are like windows where you are seeing straight through the diamond. Therefore, a well cut diamond will have a good amount of red and appear brighter. However, for a diamond to be brilliant, it needs more than brightness. It needs contrast. Contrast are the blue areas on the ASAT scope which appear black on the actual diamond. If you notice, the diamond on the right have very little contrast. This causes the diamond to look very bland without any patterning. So a brilliant diamond must have a good combination of brightness and contrast. Over here are two cushion cut diamonds. One is cut with strong brightness and contrast while the other lacks both. As you can see, the cushion brilliant on the left is very brilliant and appealing. It has a distinct and eye-catching look with the 8 beautiful arrows patterning. The diamond on the right is a typical cushion cut diamond that has no hearts and arrows. If you notice on the ASAT scope, it has very little red but lots of white and green areas. Green are areas that represent weaker light return. These areas will appear greyish on the diamond making it look duller. Also, this diamond lacks contrast or blue, which causes the diamond to look very fragmented without any distinct patterning. As a result, this diamond has very poor brilliance due to the lack of brightness and contrast. It is also interesting to note that the diamond on the right is actually of a higher color. The cushion brilliant on the left is a F color while the normal cushion on the right is an E color. However, the normal cushion appears darker due to the lack of brightness, even though it's a better color grade. This is why the brightness of the diamond is more important than the color as it has a much bigger visual impact. I hope you guys found this video useful. You can easily check the brightness and contrast of a diamond with the ideal or ASAT scopes. If you have any questions, feel free to drop us an email. Thank you for watching.